Um, what could we see? Both dead is not a coincidence, indeed, it is. is see, that could be seems. Then take great, take care, great care. Just these letters. July. This has to be Y, not X. X. It read here. Full report to follow. But this is too urgent to wait. Arno and Yamada both dead. This is not a coincidence. Indeed, it seems that all of us who came together in July are in danger. Take great care. In X. I wasn't the only one to make the connection between the costume killer murders. I'd been right all along. That was why he had asked to meet me. But what did I know that he didn't? I removed the shell. Can I use this? Because I need to get in there. Pardon me. Can I use that to keep that down? A door made they normally are. I had decrypted the note. Pierre, this take I, I'd been right off. Um, how do I get that alone and keep this door open? How do I do it? It was a boat ticket stamped Bateau de la Cons when I was a little. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay. I wasn't going to find anything in this old desk. Yeah, 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 whatever, Nicole. Hmm. Damn, don't you just hate it when that happens? A photo. Long lost had fallen down the back of the drawer. It was very old, but there was no mistaking the guy in the foreground. Cachon. Behind him were soldiers, a burning village, and a corpse. The photograph was cropped on the right hand side. Somebody else in the picture obviously didn't want to be in it anymore. I wasn't surprised. This was Africa in the 60s. An uprising was being brutally suppressed. And here was Mr. Media himself. Cachon, doing the suppressing. 
Mm -hmm. photograph was not just powerful evidence. It was also my ticket to one explosive story. I had enough for a story, an amazing story that was going to make my reputation and blow Conchance to pieces. Mm -hmm. I needed to get home fast and start typing. So we don't need to get into the um, wall. Bonsoir, Coulard. Nico, it's Ronnie. Hey, Ronnie, you cracked open the champagne yet? Are you crazy? What's wrong? Wait a minute. You didn't print it, did you? Of course I didn't print. That's the best piece I've written. The last, as far as I'm concerned. It's important. It's suicidal. You can't destroy a national hero. He deserved it. His corpse isn't even cold. Ronnie. Two hours ago, I told you what I'd found. You loved it. You begged me to write it up immediately. Two hours is a long time in newspapers, Nico. Someone's got to you, haven't they? Listen up, Nicole, and listen good. Pierre Carchon had a lot of friends. Powerful friends. For your own sake. Forget what happened. You got it. What End of conversation. <laughs> good night. Definitely. This should have been uh, my fish. Oh, smelly fish. Else to sell story. If Ronnie wouldn't print it, nobody would. Bonsoir, Collard. Mademoiselle Collard, my name is Plantard. I need to talk to you about your story, your Pierre Carchon story. How did you know about that? Mm. There are people out there, madame, who will be very upset by this story. Oh, really? Well, it's their lucky day. It's been spiked. Yes, I know. We must meet. We must? I have information relating to your costume killer stories. Tomorrow morning. He's going to die. Cafe de la Chandelle Vert. Oh, spoilers. I shall be wearing a grey overcoat. You must talk to no one about this. You can't tell me what to... Tomorrow at eight. I'll be waiting. People complain about newspaper articles all the time, but not usually before they're printed. I was beginning to feel scared. This guy, Plantard, could I trust him? Should I meet him or forget the whole business? I didn't have an answer. <sighs> the next morning. I'd only been in Paris for a week, but already I'd fallen in love with the city. My latest discovery was a little cafe, La Chandelle Verte. I was pretty sure the waitress was taking a shine to me. Of that course she was. Still more charm, I guess. Little did I know my reverie was about to be so rudely interrupted. Costume killer. Hey, hey, hey. Good thing Stubborn was here outside. And what the fuck is that guy guy's problem? I myself up, I was really He's working. One minute you know, I'm on vacation, this explosion. the next minute some clowns blown me up. I knew right away what I was gonna do. I was gonna find that clown and bring him to justice. Because justice matters. Justice is up there with liberty and equality and uh, fraternity. After all, that's why I'd studied law, wasn't it? Well, that and the money, of course. <laughs> the big story was about the brutal murder of a French media magnate. Shot down in cold blood. The guy oozed confidence. Like a regular French statesman. I noticed the writing at the foot of the page. It read Salah Eddin, 1345. Uh, maybe like that Salah Eddin. 
1345 and I put 5 to 1 behind. Okay. The leading right. Yeah, get in. Come on. The sight of the dead guy's staring eyes turned my knees to jelly. I tried not to meet his stare as I searched the dead man's pockets. No wallet, no papers, no credit cards. The guy's past was a blank page. Mm -hmm. I'd hope the fact that the mirror was already broken meant I'd escape the bad luck. The mirror is smashed into a thousand pieces. Bad luck for someone. Poor guy. He was pretty mashed up. He was pretty mashed up. Hmm. It was the body. It was. Uh. I checked his pockets. I needed a stiff drink, but I hated the taste of brandy. The waitress was clear. Oh, my head. Never again. How much vodka did I drink? Oh, no, don't tell me. What is your name, Shelley? George Stobart, ma'am. You mm -hmm. look like you could use a little help. I could use a little drink. I feel sick, dizzy, and bruised. I don't even remember the party. Just relax and take it easy. You've been knocked out. You don't say. What happened? There's been an explosion. You should try not to move. Are you a doctor? No, but I used to play hospitals when I was a kid. Can you remember anything at all? No. I need a drink. Pour me a brandy. You could be in shock. No alcohol. Mm -hmm. What about the old man? Is he dead? Of course not. I didn't want an hysterical French girl on my hands. At least, not right now. Did you know the old man? No, monsieur. I never saw him before. How did the old man behave? Yeah. Actually, okay. he kept looking about him at the door, at his watch. Really? As if he was waiting for someone? Yes, I suppose so. He was worried about something, that's mm -hmm. for sure. If you ask me, he was having an affair. He had that look about sure. him, like a guilty husband. Of course he was. Do you remember what happened when the clown entered? I remember that horrible tune he played all right. It was like a funeral dirge. I'd never liked accordion music either. It doesn't. Did the clown speak to the old man? No, he just laughed at him. Then he, he grabbed the old man's briefcase and ran out of the door. Did you see what the old man had in his briefcase? Of course not. No, he didn't open it. What kind of bloody question was that? What did the old man do when the clown snatched his briefcase? Nothing. He just sat there like he was frozen. Did the old man try to stop the clown? Oh. He didn't have a chance. The clown dropped his accordion and ran out of the door. That's it. That's all I can remember. Sounds like she just called this uh, thing Did in. this newspaper belong to the old gentleman? I don't know. Someone has scribbled a note on it. It reads, Salah Eddin, 1345. Does that mean anything to you? No, monsieur, nothing. Stay here, mademoiselle. Mm. I'm going to look around for evidence. Let's see. The mirror is smashed into a thousand. P Poor guy. Um. He was pretty mashed up.
Let's see. What we have is the um, thing, the newspaper. I'm sure this could be some apps. I checked his pot. I considered straightening the table. Because I swear there was someone else you need to do in here. The clown had fled into this alley, but there was no sign of him now. The drain pipe looked as if it would bear my weight. I took a deep breath and prepared to climb the drain pipe. I guess the clown hadn't escaped over the rooftops. I decided I'd had enough of me. Oh, she was near. It smelled like someone had dumped a truckload of fish in a locker room on a hot summer afternoon. Lovely Ghibli. Okay. There was nothing of interest. Hmm. The cover was too heavy and awkward to lift with. Yes, yeah, yes, we need the uh, key. Oh, it's cold. Uh, Uh, okay, let's see. Let's talk to the old man. Please, hold it right there. Whoa, don't shoot. I'm innocent. I'm an American. Can't make up your mind, huh? I demand to see the American consul. Drop your weapons and get down on the ground. Put that thing away, Sergeant Moon. Yes, yeah, Sergeant. I apologize, Monsieur, but I cannot permit you to leave. Am I under arrest? Ah, uh, no. I would simply like to ask you some questions. Okay. Well, to the cafe, march. Oh, yeah, yeah. What a mess. This bombing is an outrage, is it not? Stop that, Monsieur. Has it occurred to you that mm. he may be dead, Moon? Mm. Yeah, no. But I prefer to look on the bright side. Besides, I recall a case where the killer escaped by feigning death. However, Grief. in this case, the man is quite dead. Examine the girl and take her statement, yeah. if you can. He probably can't. Hey, maintenant, to business. Your name, please? George Stobart, mm -hmm. of California. And what brings you to Paris, Monsieur Stobart? Travel. I'm touring Europe. You chose well. The city is most beautiful at this time of year, no? Uh, yeah. I guess so. Apart from the bomb blasts. Were you in the vicinity of the cafe at the time of the explosion? Yeah, I was sitting out on the sidewalk. I was lucky I wasn't killed. The inspector passed over my remark with no reaction. He wouldn't. Did you see the deceased enter the cafe? Yeah. Yes, I did. Was he alone? Uh, yeah. And did he say anything to you? No. He was more interested in the waitress. Did you see anyone else in the cafe? Yeah. There was a guy dressed as a clown. He was carrying an accordion. An accordion? Bon. It's an instrument. The picture is forming in my mind. Yeah. And it is not a pretty one. Is the girl all right, Mu? She'll leave. She confirms the American statement. A clown with an accordion, no doubt an elaborate and eccentric disguise. Very well. 
Eh bien, I have heard enough. What do you mean? I am satisfied that you know nothing. You may leave. I hope this little incident does not spoil the rest of your vacation. What about my personal safety? Can't you at least give me some advice? What can I say? Yeah. Stay alert and look out for suspicious oh, characters. And don't cross the road until the little man shows green. Great advice. I honestly believe you are in no danger, monsieur. Yes, you George. you anything of importance, please contact me. My card. Thanks. That is all. You may go. There's not much to go on, monsieur. On the surface, no. But what lurks inside the subconscious? If the door can only be opened. Are you serious, monsieur? Good I thought good. your interest in psychic detection was purely academic.